So I wanted to make another comparison on uh, 40 meters between the uh, low end fed, which is about head high, and my um, inverted V, which is in a, in a pine tree at about 26 feet, the apex is. And I've been playing around, and um, usually the signals are stronger on the inverted V, um, both in terms of signal level and uh, well, no, that's not true. In terms of signal level, in terms of noise, the inverted V is almost always, or is always, quieter. That said, um, the NFED, <clears throat> oftentimes the noise is higher, but the signal levels are correspondingly higher. So, it all depends, um, I guess, on where the ham lives and a million other things, but I figured I'd find a few examples. I've got a couple guys tuned in right here, one louder than the other, but both, um, at best, they're equal on the two antennas, and at times, better on the NFED, which is uh, not, uh, not usually the case, but sometimes, and I have seen a few examples of... Uh, signals that were way louder on the NFED, but that's pretty rare. So I don't know if you can read it, but antenna 2 is the NFED. Antenna 3 is the inverted V. So I'm going to pause this and see if they're still there. Okay, this first guy, he's the quieter of the two, and um, I don't know if you'll even be able to hear him, but I'm going to turn the audio up and uh, we'll start with the NFED. Antenna 2 is the NFED. And just like that, the louder guy came on. Uh, so let's see what he does. And fed. Inverted V. And fed. Inverted V. And fed. <laughs> Inverted V. One moment. Okay, here's a uh, Italy one in Italy, um, and he is um, a little stronger on the NFED. Actually, I think. Let's look. It's on the NFED now. Inverted V. And fed. You have to separate the signal from the noise. Um, just then, he was about the same with more noise on the ad fed. Hang on. It's the end fed. Dipole. That time he was a little louder on the infant. Come on. And this guy's really loud. He must be close. We'll look at the difference. I turned the attenuator on to knock him down a little. This is the end fed. Dipole. And fed. Dipole. This is the end fed. Yeah, I think I think that the spring is here now. S8. Dipole S9. And okay, fed S8. Okay, Dipole S8 and a half S9. And fed. Dipole. Come back, If I can catch the guy transmitting, he's actually louder on the end fed. But I think he's pretty much uh, disrupting this, this net, so I don't know if I can actually catch him transmitting or not. I guess not. This is harder. Uh, 
harder gun than it seems finding people. Come on. Okay, this guy's about the same on both. He's not real loud, but I'll try to. <laughs> My wife and I actually haven't been to the park. And fed. He doesn't get around very well, so Oh, he proved me wrong again. Dipole. Anymore. Well, uh, and fed. Dipole. And fed. Dipole. Wow. Before I uh, unpaused my camera, I checked, you know, four or five times, click back and forth, back and forth, and he was, he was uh, definitely exactly the same on the end fed, and it'll go that way, and then all of a sudden, boom, he'll be way louder on the uh, dipole up in the tree, and conversely, there's been a few times I've done that and seen him jump way up when I clicked over to the end fed. I was hoping I could prove something with this guy, but apparently not. I don't know. And fed. <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> That's how it goes. Okay, and fed. About five over. Dipole. S8. And fed. Over S9. Dipole. <laughs> finally, finally I proved, I showed, I caught an example of somebody louder on the end fed. The thing is, which antenna is better tonight? Ooh, I think you might have to argue that the NFED is, even if the noise level's higher on it and the signal levels are a little lower on it, they're very, very close. They're running neck and neck. And the thing is, the NFED is what? It's head height off the ground. It leaves my window at 6 feet and ends up at uh, 16 feet with one support. The dipole took three supports. I had to hoist it up into a pine tree. And you know, I mean, I love my inverted V. They're wonderful. They're lower noise than a, um, you know, but God, the unfeds, a, it's a resounding success. Six feet off the ground and one support and the signal levels are about the same or very close. Yep. You got to put up with a little more noise, but. My God, the conveniences. 73. Okay. 40 meter and fed half wave noise and signal level comparison Whew. recap. <laughs> Handheld version. I, I think it's important to repeat and to stress, you know. Um, I compared a 40 meter inverted V fed by RG58. Um, it's 26 feet high in a pine tree. This coax is buried across my backyard. The cost of the coax, it is what it is. The work involved in building the antenna and hoisting it into position, then running your feed line. You know, let's review. Let's recap. This piece of speaker wire tied in a knot slipped over a little eye hook screwed into my window sill and running out the window to a painter pole almost equals the inverted V. And I dare say that if you put that on, on, on the end of a 25 or 50 foot piece of coax hoisted into the tree connected to a half wave 70 meter wire um, I bet you anything the NFED would equal or far outperform the inverted V. And I'll bet the noise level would be much lower than it is now. I mean, come on, man. The high impedance point, that's connected to the 81 to 1 tap. The impedance of that piece of wire is over. It's just about 4,000 ohms. That's a high impedance. And look where it's at. It's in a shack with all kinds of electrical crap in here, you know? Uh, you know, it's like a microphone um, cord. 
when it's open-ended at a high high impedance what do you hear short it and it goes dead quiet right the load has great effect on the uh, noise level so anyway that's it that's going to be the last noise comparison i do with that uh 40 meter uh <laughs> painter paul special